21 of the National Rugby League, Brian. The Warriors take on the West Tigers, 6 p.m. Go Media Stadium, so they're back at home. The New Zealanders, Roger Tuivasa Sheik moves to fullback. Appy Corusau expect to be back for the Tigers, not playing halfback. He'll be playing number nine with the young halves, Galvin and Latu Fainu for the first time to pair up in the halves. Of course, the big news around this game was uh, John Bateman. He's been free to go back to England effectively immediately to go partner up with Sammy Burgess and the Warrington Wolves, but he is still contracted to next year and the year after, but uh, we have grand reservations as to whether he will, in fact, come back. The Warriors have won their last six games against the West Tigers, and the Tigers have not won in New Zealand since 2018. Bit of a caveat there. There was a bit of COVID time, mm. and they probably haven't played too many games, but that are the facts of this particular game, Brian. Yeah, I think the Warriors win comfortably here. I like seeing Roger back at fullback. It's great yep. to see him. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the Tigers have packed up for the year. Yep. Big ask for the young kids going over there, but it's all experience. You know, uh, young Finu and... Lockie Galvin. Are they getting be... the spoon, the Tigers? I think so. Are they? I think so. But do yeah. they play para in the, in the final six games or uh, seven games? Because that's the... I think they do, you That know. will be the spoon bowl. I think... You would imagine. They do. I'll look that up for you in a moment. And, and um, Chanel. Last game of the year. Been, we've been hurt. We've been told that Chanel will be first choice goal kicker. Yep. Round so, 27 in... Uh, I've, 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 sent, I've sent Webby some footage of uh, El Masri and Cleary. Yeah. How square they are. So hopefully we see Chanel. I, I can see Chanel. All right. Chromey, tourist. Yep. Chromey. If they score eight tries. Yeah. He's kicking at six. 85%. If they score eight, he's kicking at 85%. 85%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. The Warriors, can they make the top eight? Let's have a little look at this, Brian. So they are... Round 27, we think they play each other. Can you go to there? They're five points out. Who? Warriors. Yeah, they're gone. Would they think they could still make it or yeah. not? Yeah. I'm, I'm even... The only team I think can make it are the Bronx. And even then, they're going to struggle. Yeah. And they're, they're in 11th, Warriors in 14th. Yeah. They will Dragons pl- can. Raiders... I think Dragons are closest to and who would ju- drop out do you think out of the top eight now oh, maybe cows maybe maybe the fins the fins are going to be fighting hard as well eels take on the oh, just on that too by the way so the last three weeks the warriors have they, like they haven't been winning so much but they've only conceded eight tries in the last three games mm. west tigers have conceded 24 in three weeks oh. what do we say about defense mm. It's a thing that runs, goes around the house. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, boys, uh, by the way, tourist, quick quiz. I'll ask you, Joel, mm-hmm. or tourist. Yep. Would you rather eat a goat or a matter baby? A matter baby? What's yeah, a matter baby? baby? Oh. Nothing, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I had sugar. You had me. I had him. You've ruined that, What's tourist. What's a matter Bring baby? Bring Mitch. Uh, very, very good. Um <laughs> Eels take on. Oh, by the way, and the tourists did say uh, Parramatta take on West Tigers in the last game of the year. Round 27, bowl of the spoon. There could be. Keys in the bowl. There maybe. could be both. There could, what's the difference here? Parramatta and 14 plays 12, so they're two away at Campbelltown. All righty, all righty. Uh, Eels take on the Melbourne Storm, Brian. Bryce mm-hmm. Cartwright, Sean Lane, named to start, but they're still without Paulo. Moses, Hopgood, who's a cheeky out as well. Mm. Parramatta have only won one game of the eight without Mitchell Moses. Yeah. Melbourne Storm, with who we think is going to be the Dalian medalist, Jerome, Jerome Hughes. They've won 13 from 14 with him this year. He's Flying. lost one game. Imagine having then Cameron Munster come on. Nelson. Nelson. Welsh. Yeah. Re- Remus might not get back in the That's team. That's right. I-, I wouldn't chat. That Jack Howarth is going... He, 19 year old, he, he's going to be a gun. Grant Anderson's been named to play, but I doubt it. He got that bad knock at yeah, the end of the game. But they he? had, uh, the scans revealed no major issue, no major damage. Right. So it could be one of those. Okay. It looked and pretty Nathan bad. Hindmarsh hates that. He hates a people, hyper extension, didn't it? He hates people writhing in pain and then play the next week. <laughs> he just goes, Why, What's happened in a week? How can they heal so quick? What about the ones when people get stretched it off and they're back on in the same That's, game? Uh, has that happened? Yeah. What, yeah. You're I, I don't know who, but it's many cabbed off. Yeah, and they come back on. I'm pretty sure you'll find that out. Someone will know. Um, the Eels have won three of their past four against the Storm at Combank Stadium, but this is different gravy. Harry Grant has scored six tries in his last four, so Harry Grant loves taking on the Parramatta Eels. And Clint Gutherson, 
This is interesting because there's been murmurs this week that maybe Jason Riles would be looking elsewhere for the captaincy. So Mitch Moses is the logical pick there. So that you've had all that chat. It's game 200 for Clint Gutherson for the Parramatta Eels. You, you just know he's going to turn up and as he does all the time. That's one thing you can't bag Gutherson it, Yeah, for. his effort is spot on. It looks to me he's, he's a little bit lame. He's always strapped up. Yep. Whether that's age or whether he ha- he's carrying injury, but no. Nah, the the defence of the Eels, they're all, in all sorts. Wouldn't so you? Sometimes like, that is not communicating. It. It is, okay, so is Jason Riles, is he within his rights now to say to Baz, Baz, mate, do us a favour, can you just give us a month of Talangi at fullback to have a look at him? Of course he could. Do you reckon he can? Of course he could. Yeah. He's Baz within his rights to say, hey, well, mate, get stuffed. I'm, I'm doing this now. Well, if it's happening at South Sydney for, with a coach <laughs> that's who's right. coaching another team yeah. as we speak, <laughs> I think Jason Riles is unemployed, of course. And him and Baz are mates. Mm. Okay. Um, Broncos take on the Bulldogs. What a big game. Suncorp Stadium, 3 p.m. Cobbo's back, but they've got him on the wing. He's back from that groin concern. Lipoy, Hopoy on the Bulldogs bench. The Broncos have won their past five against the Bulldogs. But again, that could be said, a lot of the recent Bulldogs performances until this year. So they've certainly improved out of sight. They haven't beaten the Broncos at Suncorp since 2015. And Marty Tapao plays game 250 in the NRL. Congratulations to Marty. That's a magnificent career. It is. Yeah, congratulations, Marty. Um, I'm going to say Broncos. This is where they start their run. Adam Reynolds is back. It makes everyone more confident. Although the caveat is the Bulldogs, the, the way they defend, the, the, they defend and the way they scramble, yeah. could frustrate the Broncos. Yeah, it could do. They just got. Uh, they, I don't. They, they don't have the attack to beat them. So if they're going to win, it's going to be a 14-12 job. Well, I looked at the the total match points for Canterbury. The average for them is 37. Mm. So they are in really tight games, yep. aren't they, all the time? All the time. And they just rely on their defence because they work so hard. But I think the Broncos, they're over origin, that disappointment. They've got their little skipper back, the little general. Broncos for me. Still can't believe they took the two when I up by two mm. last week. Anyway, can't carry a divots. Cowboys take on the Shark. He's speaking of the Cowboys. Liam Ison's set to make his debut, a Penrith... Junior, so he's going to play fullback in the absence of Will Kennedy, who's a big out. He's had a good couple of years, Will Kennedy. Sharks have got a great record against the Cowboys. They've won 11 of their past 12. Ronaldo Militalo, five tries in his past three. And uh, Kyle Felt, six tries in his past seven. Uh, so that's how that's shaping up. Um, Tough one, this, isn't it? Big game. Oh, Val Holmes goes to the wing. I like that. Yeah. I like that. His Perth carries is. coming out. Yeah. Good carries coming out of his own end. Ooh, this is a tough one. I've tipped the Sharks, but not confident. No. You? No, no definitely not confident. No. no who, where have you gone? Uh, sharks, but get that coin and flip it. I, the last three weeks, both have been pretty handy in defence, I will say that. Battle of the battle of the Birds. Roosters take on the Seagulls. Allianz Stadium. Robbo's picked the same 17 that lost to the Melbourne Storm. Lehigh Hopawati is out with that awful uh, eye injury, eye socket injury. To out of the wing, he's flying. Ben Trebojevic to the centres, he'll be fine there. Uh, Satili Tupanu is also in the centres, so a couple of back rowers in this game playing in the centres. Very, very interesting, Brian. The Roosters have scored at least 26 yep. in the four games before the loss to the Melbourne Storm. We've all heard about the stat. Uh, they have now lost 19 of the last 20 against Penrith or the Roosters. They have had trouble against teams above them on the ladder this year. The Roosters... Big game, Brian. Massive huge, game. Huge game and not as easy as, uh, well, the bookies have got the Roosters as, as favourites, pretty clear-cut favourites. I can see, I can see the Chooks winning, but I can see Tommy going berserk. Dry track. Yeah. Hard, fast track out the stadium. Big crowd. Uh, Tommy can go berserk, but I just think the Roosters just might have him. Teddy versus Turbo. Yeah. Mouth-watering. Mouth-watering. Can't wait. Can't wait Can't. for that. Still no Jared, Jared is it? What else is mouth-watering? Those, oh, the ribs we had. Oh, the ribs. Fantastic. Oh, short ribs. Um, and, but the big, big game that you'll see at Allianz Stadium, half-time. Fletcher, you're playing. Yes. Who's, who's playing? Who I'm playing? a skipper. I'm up against Lane Beachley's team. Oh, right. So it's Lane Beachley because I imagine she's Northern Beaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm the skipper. Oh, we've got Rob Whitaker. Oh, wow. And uh, Ferocious. Just, put, just put on a And Ferocious... Cambosis. Just punk on a stink. Yeah. Early. I, I don't think, I think uh, Georgie's playing for the opposition. Is he? I'm just going to just no, be that putting, Maybe don't bung it on. I'll be putting blokes through holes all game. What about this game? 
What about this game? What gaps. Was sorry, put get Blake Street gaps. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What was our bet for this game? Was it at the line? Dragons and the Panthers. Now you said Dragons will win this, and they then can. I said, and I said, all right, sweet, I'm on. Let's have a bet. Oh, that's goes, right. I know, but I get. What was the bet though? A two for one. Yeah, foe was it? Foe. Yeah, two for one. Two for one. So, if the Dragons upset the Panthers, I owe you two. Yes. And you can have them uh, con- concurrently, or you can have them uh, alternately. Yes. And you can have either the protein is up to you. You can have chicken. Yep. You can have beef. What's your go-to, by the way? I like the crispy pork. Yeah. But you've got to eat it quick, because if it sets into the soup, it Soft. goes soggy. Yeah. Real soggy. Okay, that's on. Game on. Uh, Zach Lomax and Ben Hunt, first game after Origin. You've got Dylan Edwards back. It's quite the Blues reunion no, in a way. No, Edwards. Edwards. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. All of them back except Dylan except Edwards, Dylan. I meant to say. But Dane Laurie's going good. I know, but he, he's a big out. Big out. Don't you think? Yep. And down there, different team. Yep. But I think there's too much class. They're three from three at Wynn Stadium, so... Aptly named at this stage, Wynn Stadium in 2024. <laughs> the Panthers have won six of their past seven against the Dragons. They did lose the game this year. Great song too, Brian. What? Who sings this? Uh, Cindy Lauper? No, no, no. no. Bengals? No, she's deceased. Oh, Roxette. Roxette. Yeah, yeah Roxette. She, she was, um, was her and the guitarist... Were they uh, were they an item? I think they were once, and it went then it went pear real pear shaped. Went That's pear shaped. See, you can't yeah. work and have a relationship. No, like sexual relationship. No, no, like you can't. You do and that. I tried it, and it just didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out. That's right. Remember that Christmas party. I took a long time to patch up, didn't it? Uh, Christian Tupolotu has scored five tries in his past three games. The Panthers have not won at the Gong since 2014, but again, one of those stats where how many games they played in the Gong. Since 2014, Brian. Yes. Um, Get your hand off my leg. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, do, 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 do. Where are we up to? Sorry? Uh, the Panthers. Are <laughs> yeah, the, I'm uh, Panthers. I'm all in. Okay. All, I'm deep, deep. Nathan, Nathan Cleary. I've taken two first to one. Nathan Cleary's just... He's just... Oh, I've got one for you. I've got one for you. Write these numbers down. Right? Well done. Write these numbers down. Matter, baby? 32. 32. Okay. Then put three. Three. Then put 12. Then put 12. So that's how many tries and what parts of the field Penrith are letting now, in. Now, where am I looking? Am I, so am you're I, running to them. I'm running to them. So, so, that's so the on your left. Oh, that's my left side, yeah. So that, that their right-hand side or your right-hand side, yep. they've conceded only 12. Yeah. That's because, Jerome's side. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Three up the middle. 32 on the other side. Yeah. That's a problem for Coach Fav- Cleary. That's the favourite. Uh, right off, to left. Right to left. That's how we grow up. Yeah. You know, passing right to left. Correct. 32. So out there. Okay. Well, you so that's uh, Tangor and Taruva. Bahama. Mm, Come on, pretty, pretty mama. <laughs> Key Largo. Uh, let's Tango. go to the Dolphins. Take on the Titans, Brian. This is at 4 o'clock at Suncorp Stadium. Bennett has the same 17 that just lost to the Panthers. Hasler has the same 17 that went down to the Eagles. Still no Brimson. Or note in the 17. He's not right. We, no. he, he came on Matty's show and he was saying he, when he comes around those sweeping plays, he feels it. Does he? He said, I've tried to inject it. He just doesn't. So he's had a bit of issue. He says it comes from his back. It's all stemming from his back. Really? Yeah. He flew out of the gates too this year. Wayne Bennett, tell you what, Desi's got the wood on him. Desi's, Desi's won six straight against Wayne Bennett. Khan Pereira, here's one for you, Brian. So Khan Pereira got dropped in round eight. Yep. And he missed a couple of games, comes, comes back in round 11. And since then, he scored 11 tries. Mm. How many tries has the opposing winger in those games scored against him? Well, he scored say, 11. I'm going to say zero. Three. Three. That's good for and against, isn't it? Yeah. For Khan Pereira. Four and against. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Jaden Campbell didn't know he could ball play like he can. I love seeing him bounce around. And strong. Just keep the six on his back. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep it there. Um, really like that. Uh, by the way, Trey Fuller has upgraded to the Dolphins' top 30. Well, geez, that's good. Um, he's agreed to a two-year deal that elevates him to the top 30 and will cover the 2025 and 2026 seasons. So clearly, Christian Wolf's a fan because he's going to have him uh, from next year and onwards. He's uh, obviously been the star in the absence of Hamiso Tabuai Fado. 27, four tries and two tries this in nine games this year. So good on him. 270 metres. He did in the win over the Rabbitohs in round 19. Speaking of which, in fact, who tip in there? I'm going to go the Finns. Same, but flip of the coin jobby again for yep. me. Another local, another local derby, so to speak. Queensland derby. Gordon won't know what to do with himself. Who's he going to bag? <laughs> Who's Gordon going to hammer today? <laughs> I notice he's changed his tune. Someone's got to be about the chooks. Someone's got to Gordon. Someone might have said to him, do you want some sort of... Uh, 
something to do in the East. Oh, he really? really? Is he, he want, tepid? He's, do you uh, want a membership somewhere in the has East? He's just tepid things, has he? Of course he has. I heard him say the other day that they'll come good. He okay. said, I'm not worried about it. Gordon, please just be yourself mm. and hammer us. Test for you, Brian. I don't think you know the answer to this. Who's the only player in the National Rugby League who's still playing who has won a Clive Churchill and a Dallium? Uh, the only yeah, player. That would be uh, his initials would be or as JW. Or would say the only player. JW. Yes. Jackie White. And yep. Jackie White and returns for Canberra, to Canberra. T- uh, he scores, doesn't he? I think so, yeah. He scores. Yeah, I, th- I can see him scoring, but I think the Raiders win. I've gone with the Raiders as well. The Fogarty will kick him off the park. Yep. Yeah, I think so. I think I so. I hope that bloke's going to light up his Susie Wong <laughs> again. <laughs> do, do you think we'll see more people doing that? Oh, uh, probably. Around? Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't you know, doubt. We call them copycats. Yes. Yes. Um, stuff you missed. Sorry, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a real Susie this time. It wasn't a real Susie. Oh, it was pretend Susie. He just had a lighter and he had his stubby. He was mocking the um, yeah, Susan. Yeah, it was a faux. Yes. Susie. Faux Susie. Orchi Nilex. Mm. Orchi. It's got to be an Orchi. It can't be an oak. Can it? Because I'm noticing now the young kids are getting around the oak. Really? <laughs> just jam the, just jam your <laughs> Nilex. Aussie hoses? Do we still sponsor by Aussie hoses? No. no. They're rank anyway. I go Holman. <laughs> I'm a Holman man. Uh, stuff you miss. Don't forget your flu shot this winter. Book in store online now at Chemist Warehouse. Mal Meninga back at the Raiders. Okay. Didn't know this. Camber Raiders are pleased to announce the club legend and NRL immortal Mal Meninga is returning to work with the club to assist in a variety of initiatives and programs. The role will see Meninga involved across a number of areas, including recruitment and retention, mentoring, pathways, especially related to leadership, engagement with key stakeholders, promotion of the Raiders brand as a club ambassador. Big Mal. He's on tomorrow with Jimmy for the throwdown, uh, which you'll catch every Thursday.